following program is sponsored by PokerStars.net. This week on The Big Game, Tony G was sent home on his bicycle. Well done, Todd. I've got to get on my bike and drive back to the win. Vanessa Russo kept riding rockets. Pretty good with this. One. And our loose cannon, Aaron Jensen, <laughs> took an early flight home. Sorry, right, brother. Simon. All right. I was playing with you. It's my second cannon. Meanwhile, young Scott Sieber <laughs> just kept riding the money train. Can anyone stop this express? No. Find out tonight on The Big Game. <laughs> We are wrapping up another big week here on the big game in Las Vegas. Alongside Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Rose, and tonight there's almost $1.2 million on the table in our state-of-the-art poker room. The Unabomber Phil Locke joined the table late last night and is quickly down about 9 k So sick. The pride of the Amsterdam internet kids. Lex Feldhaus is down 61 grand. Vanessa Russo has earned her license to ill. She's up over 176000 in seat five, Ivy Leaguer Scott Siever has been flat out schooling the table to the tune of over 218K. And Vegas cash game veteran Todd Brunson has grinded his way up 47K. And our final player out of Ontario, Canada is Daniel Negreanu. He's standing by with Amanda Leatherman. Daniel, you knocked out our loose cannon last night, but now we replaced him with Phil Locke. What do you think about the trade off? Well, to be honest with you, that guy played really, really good. And Phil Locke seems like he just woke up. <laughs> and and I oh, I just want to bluff Phil Locke one time and be successful. And I'm going to show it. And I'm going to go, hey, 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 or something fun. What, what? I've never been successful yet, but I'm going to get him for sure. There's just no question about it. Why are you so confident about it? I just, I'm, going to, I'm going to bluff him. It's guaranteed. Okay. Well, good luck on that. All right. Once again, here are the rules of the big game. Every week of play lasts exactly 150 hands. The action pre-flop is pot limit, then no limit after the flop. Blinds are two and four hundred with a hundred dollar ante, all of which is paid by the player on the button. And every player must begin with at least a hundred K, but can reload all the way up to five hundred thousand dollars. And it's impersonation time for Daniel. Phil Lock, and it messes with my. When when I start with Phil, it's like can't even you know, it's like you're there, it's, it's micro magnesium. It's like micro magnesium. You know, crazy. Speaking of magnesium, if you yes. Know, speaking of magnesium. <laughs> If you have a strip of magnesium and you light it, it will go out very quickly because it, it super consumes nitrogen. But if you feed it a continuous stream of nitrogen, the uh, magnesium actually stays lit. Okay, we've got a raise and a re-raise. Then you have a flare of, you know, if you can keep feeding nitrogen into a tube, the flame will never go out as long as nitrogen keeps getting fed because magnesium burns See what I'm saying? nitrogen, not oxygen. What a story. I just love the line, speaking of magnesium. Speaking of magnesium. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely something special place in my heart to hear. Speaking of magnesium. <laughs> Speaking of poker, Daniel flops top set. Did you know? Vanessa the checks. The more you know, the... Daniel fires 4,500. You know, Phil's also got great stories about cobalt and boron. Save those for later in the big game. Vanessa has no pair and no immediate draws. But calls anyway. Against a player like Daniel, her ace high will be good some of the time. Three of hearts. Russo now has the nut flush draw and checks. Just like that, she picks up a bunch more outs. Daniel fires 9,200. And Vanessa calls. Vanessa's really only looking for a heart. But gets the seven of clubs instead and checks. Daniel's got the second nuts. 9-10 is the only cards that beat him. He bets 28,000. But that was the only draw on the flop. Vanessa seems genuinely torn with her ace high. Just considering the hero call. <sighs> really? I just got it. I really don't know what to do here. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Uh...
Vanessa folds. Yes, sir. And Daniel wins a nice size pot to get the night going. I'm so curious what she had there. I really didn't believe you. Huh? I'm so curious what she had. Nice fold. I'm so curious what you had. I had a pretty big drop, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have that you much. You should have taken right. like 20 seconds though and shifted in. Shifted in? Is that what, that's what I should have done. That would have yeah. been the. No, serious. Oops. That would have worked. Yeah. If she did that, I was actually going to make a big lay down. The viewing audience doesn't believe. I was going to make a big lay down if she check raised the river. I made up my mind. A big lay down? I was going to fold three jacks. You didn't have three jacks. Oh. Even if Vanessa had insta shoved the river, I don't think Daniel could have laid down the second nuts. Daniel first to act, folds. Scott Seaver, suited connectors. And a raise to 1,500. Todd folds. Bill like, Locke on the stop. button. And you can't get it a hold Out. Of it's terrible. Lex, Jack Jack. Calls. Sorry. It's okay. Vanessa folds. Lex is out of position with his jack, so it's not imperative that he make a re-raise. 459. Lex checks. Seaver checks his open ender. Ten of diamonds on the turn. Lex still got the best hand. Plus the only diamond. And fires 3,000. Lex donk bets when the diamond hits. Scott quickly calls. Scott might be afraid of diamonds, but he isn't drawing dead to anything but a flush. The case jack on the river. Gives Veldhaus top set. And he bets 14,500. We've seen Lex do this before. Over bet when he thinks he has the best hand. Scott's got nothing he can call with, but he's thinking of raising because it's the only way he can win. He folds, and Lex picks up a solid pot. Scott may have been tipped off that Lex had a big hand since he cold called out of the small blind, and Lex doesn't do that very often. Played it cautiously till he knew he had the best hand. Isn't it scary when, unless you have the nuts betting into Scott, are you a little scared there? <laughs> because you're like, is he thinking about making it 62? Everyone keeps talking about this. When are you going to do that? What? I'm waiting for Scott to do some weird, like, what everyone's scared of him doing. Know. When I have the nuts. You know what <laughs> Okay, Scott is the nuts. He's been very active pre-flop, both raising and calling while out of position. He's dominated this table, taking down over a quarter of the pots in this six-handed game. And even more importantly, he's won the most money. Scott is really good at metagaming. Everybody thinks he's completely crazy. Metagaming is the game outside the game where the players are basically getting each other's heads, lying about hands, doing the opposite of what their opponent expects them to do. It's a big part of the game, especially when determining bet sizes and hand ranges. It can even include things that happen off the felt, like knowing someone just lost their job or is going through a breakup. It goes pretty deep. We've seen a raise and a call. The way of the life, bro. And a fold by Daniel. Vanessa's out of position, but she's ahead of Scott's range from any position. Four, five, deuce. Both players have flopped gut shots. Vanessa bets 2,000. But if it comes in, Scott would make a better one. Scott calls. The turn, the seven of clubs. Other than making his hand, this is the best possible card for Scott. He picks up four more straight outs and all the club outs. Vanessa, in the meantime, has bet 7,000. Scott's got pretty good equity here. He could semi-bluff raise if he chooses. And he calls. Now, if he feels Vanessa has a very strong hand, his equity decreases. That could be why he called. Three of diamonds on the river, an action card. This is a terrible card for Vanessa. It makes her hand, but it makes Scott's one better. Vanessa checks. With a flush and a four card straight out there, Vanessa may not get into too much trouble. Seaver bets 12K. Scott's bet a little more than half the pot. He wants to make sure he gets paid. Vanessa calls. Six high straight. Aw. Or seven, but yeah. Yeah, that, either one. Yes, Sam. The one that uses the six, not the ace. Either way, it was good. And if you think you're good and you want your chance to appear on the big game and be a loose cannon, simply log on to PokerStars.net. There are free qualifying tournaments every day. We're coming back with much more right after this.
Welcome back to Vegas, where Scott Seaver's been crushing the big game, and right now he's with Amanda. Scott, you know I've been trying to get you over here all week, but you play every single hand. <laughs> What's going on with you? I don't know. Basically, people always seem to confuse me for some, you know, crazy maniacal player. But uh -huh. I just get the, dealt a lot of good hands, and I'm very blessed for it. So I just, you know, what, is, <laughs> what is your definition of a poker maniac? Is that you? No, a poker maniac is a guy that's like playing, you know, deuce three offsuit, deuce five offsuit. I'm playing deuce three suited, uh. deuce five suited. I show, you know, a lot of strength and discretion when I play my hands. Yeah, I don't believe you. Get back out there. <laughs> sure. Stats time. Let's look at VPIP, which measures when players voluntarily put chips in play pre-flop. Scott is mixing it up pre-flop over half of the time, and everything is going his way, while the anti-seaver Todd Brunson is playing at the other end of the spectrum, taking far less risks. But Todd's still showing a nice profit so far. Yes, but the stats guys are telling me that right now Scott is 93% happier than Todd. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, I can do that then. Brunson folds. So is Phil. I want to play badly, but I can't with that hand. Lex is out, and Vanessa. All right, Scott Seaver. It's funny, I remember when you were just Scott. Now you're Scott Seaver. We now were just Scott Seaver.